Rocker router bit and saw blade cleaning kit comes with the plastic tub, a quarter to pitch and resin remover concentrate, the jar for cleaning router bits, and a brass bristled brush. And because the solution can be used more than once, you get a top that seals onto the tub. This ring in the bottom of the tub makes sure that the blade remains suspended. That lets the solution get to all of the surfaces equally and prevents the blade from suctioning to the bottom of the basin. The plastic jar is a nice size for cleaning router bits. And by the way, this is an old Jasada router bit that I thought was baked. I didn't think we were ever going to get this thing cleaned up. You'll see later in this video just how good this cleaning material works. And Rockler includes that brass bristle brush because that's all you should be using on blades and bits to clean them up. Take the hint and hang on to this thing. The pitch and resin remover is non-caustic and should be safe for coated blades. But I thought we better give this a stress test just to be sure. You'll see that I accidentally get a little more than a couple of drops I meant to put on here. Normally you'd dilute this cleaner, but this is full strength and we're going to give this a good test to see how it affects this coating. You're supposed to allow blades to soak in diluted cleaner for about 3 to 5 minutes. But this is full strength and I'm going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. Okay, it's 15 minutes later and you can see that some of the cleaner has actually evaporated. I'm just going to scrub the cleaner off with a paper towel and you can see that it hasn't touched the coating. Since I don't know what your blades are coated with, you might want to try a spot that is someplace on it before cleaning your blades. The instructions say to use one part cleaner to three parts water. I'm going to use one cup of the cleaner and three cups of water. And as you'll see I found out accidentally that four cups of liquid in this basin is just enough to cover up a blade. I figured we'd speed up the three cups of water part so we can get to cleaning the blade. And I just know if I don't actually show dumping all three cups of water in here, somebody's going to say, oh no, you didn't. And now we just got to set the blade in there and let it soak. This is an older blade that I haven't cleaned in a while. It's got some burn marks on it. It's got some resin built up around the teeth. And I'm going to let this soak about four minutes. Now we just lift the blade out and dry it off with a paper towel. I haven't scrubbed this blade at all. I'm just going to wipe it dry with the paper towel and see how much of the stuff comes off. Most of the buildup came off in the tub and while wiping it, but there's a little bit left around the corners of the teeth. And the brass brush knocks that stuff off real quick. I need to get the bristles down in the gullets a little bit, but everything's coming right off. And notice that I'm wiping in the same direction as the teeth are facing. I've learned this lesson the hard way. When the blade's dry, I'll just wipe it down with a little bit of oil to protect the metal, and we're ready to put it back into use. This cleaning solution has got plenty of life left into it, so I'm just going to seal it up at the top and put it aside and save it for later. Remember that router bit we saw earlier? Well, this is me putting it in the solution, and I really didn't think this was going to do much because that's so old and so burned on. But we left it sit about five minutes. Five minutes later, I took it out of the solution and had one of those holy cow moments when I saw that most of the debris had been taken off of the bit. The wings and the cutter faces still had some buildup, but I got the brass brush out, and that knocked right off. I dried it off, and this thing's looking a lot closer to new than it has in years. I had thoughts of trashing this bit, but it goes back in the drawer now. Unless you got a tool budget that lets you keep buying new blades and router bits, you might want to think about getting a Rockler router bit and saw blade cleaning kit and taking care of the ones that you already have. Mm -hmm.